Parasites had infected the seas for generations. So I vowed to eliminate them all. And then, there was this boy. Jack Sparrow. Follow him in! He took everything from me. And filled me with... Rage. Hello. There's a fifth Pirate to the Caribbean movie. Are you aware of that? How is that possible? When I saw the first one, I was like, who is this for? And apparently it's for everybody. <laughs> and I just have really bad taste. All the quadrants. <laughs> All four. Count you them. must not be part of a quadrant. I am in none of them. Um, <laughs> I'm an island under myself. Anyway, Christy and Dave White, who is happy to be here. I am your uh, Alonzo Duralde yes. replacement today. As, at some point, we'll have them both on the show at the and same time. And I have time. not yet seen the Pirates of the Caribbean. You've not. Are you going to play catch up with it well, for, we, for your podcast? I, you know, he flies back in yeah. as we're doing this. Right. Uh, and then he and I are going to see it tonight because we have to go on the radio tomorrow morning. Are you doing as press a play? Team are you doing press play tomorrow? And talk Madeline? about it. Yeah. All Actually, right. you're better off not seeing it. Just, and doing the well, review. No, I Just know. pretend that I know. You know. I had no intention of seeing it. And then the radio called and we were like, oh, that's fine. We'll no, go. even doing the radio. Just say, you know what? <laughs> Watch too I short. didn't see it. Watch All right, that's Matt. Short. Matt and I saw it. <laughs> and Matt is going to describe Pirates of the Caribbean, colon, Dead Men Tell No Tales. So. See if I can remember what <laughs> happened in this movie. Uh, we start off with Henry Turner. Henry, Henry. Henry Turner, the son of Will Turner, played by Orlando Bloom. Um, I don't remember who plays this kid. Brenton uh, Thwaites. Brenton he was Thwaites. in The Giver. Okay. He has sure. YA cred. Uh, and <laughs> he here he comes across this these zombie sort of like ghost skeleton pirates, the leader of which is this guy Salazar who hates Jack Sparrow and finds out that if he, Jack Sparrow could find the horn of the, or I'm sorry, the Poseidon's trident and break the curse to bring back Orlando Bloom's character, Will Turner, so everybody can live happily ever after and things ensue and it's complicated and nobody cares. There's nowhere to hide. Find Sparrow for me. Moment on, we are to be allies. Considering where your left hand is, I'd say we're more than that. Monkey. Oh, I'm not looking for trouble. What a horrible way to live. You will pay for what you did to me. hate this and I am so not a Pirates of the Caribbean fan. I was scared of the ride when I was a little kid. I don't like the movies now. But I will say, <laughs> I was, when you're a little kid, the Pirates ride is really scary. Oh, everything scared me when I was a child. It's so it doesn't dark, matter. it's dark up there, they're Most singing scary scare songs. <laughs> um, uh. So I think it's a matter of expectations, right? We were talking about Baywatch earlier. Please also enjoy our Baywatch review. And you know, we walk in with low expectations for Baywatch. And it was even worse than I expected. They were met. They, it, they were not even met. And <laughs> I had really low expectations for this as well. But I was surprised at the action sequences themselves, okay? The actual individual action set pieces are fun and they move well and they are coherent and they are not edited to within an inch of their lives. And um, all the cohesive stuff in between is convoluted and unnecessary and and boring and stuffed, overstuffed. But individual scenes, the big bank heist off the top, the thing with the guillotine is really fun in like a Looney Tunes kind of way. Um, I would say that Johnny Depp is dialing down the hoo hoo, look at me, I'm so funny, Jack Sparrow thing, which has been his bread and butter for like every character he's played for the past 20 or so years. I would say it's, it's um, there's not that much Jack Sparrow in this. And that is why it's tolerable. Matt's just looking at me. I wish you could see Matt's face. He's just like, I can see his wheels spinning like, oh, girl. 
Um, <laughs> what was the other? Oh, and, and oh, the whole effect with Javier Bardem and the Ghost Pirates is really cool. The sensation that Javier Bardem, no matter where he is, like his hair and all his stuff is like floating all over as if he were submerged. That's a really cool effect. Also, we should mention this is not a Gore Verbinski joint. This was directed by two Norwegian directors named Joachim Roning and Espen Sandberg, who did Kontiki a few years ago. It moves pretty well. I mean, they're all over long, but this is, I was not that bored. Take it away. I was totally bored. <laughs> this movie stinks. Uh, you know, you've got an okay support. I mean, the newcomer uh, to this franchise, Kaya. Kaya Scodelario. Scodelario. Uh, also she's, has YA cred. She's she's good in this. I actually would rather see a whole movie about that character and, and to hell with the pirates. I, I just found this tedious. Mm -hmm. It's Yes, I'll grant you that the action sequences are pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, put those out and put that together and it's a better movie. That was fun. Uh, right? I'd mm -hmm. rather just see, look, you're better off going watching a YouTube playlist of great action sequences <laughs> than this movie. And, and it'll make about as much sense. Um, I actually didn't think the Javier Bardem effect was that great. Like no? it kept looking like, okay, he's not in the same shot. Like it, it was like too, eye contact wise, like eye line wise, or whatever. That was some yeah. of it, but it was also like he doesn't look real compared to anything else in this, right? It's at least in the last few movies, like you'll there's a presence to like the zombies or the or whatever the you know whatever the various iterations of dead pirates there yeah. are in previous films. This one felt like okay, I'm watching a video game cutscene that's been overlaid. Mm. I mean, it's. It's almost at the level of which some of the green screen, some of the bad green screen we see in uh, in Baywatch. In Baywatch. Um, mm -hmm. I just found this tedious, and I disagree with you on Johnny Depp. Like I feel like he's still doing the same shtick. But there's less of it, and it's, which makes it vaguely more tolerable. I guess, but like it's also <laughs> look like the dudes. You know, it's hard to escape that here he is playing this legendary drunk, and dude's kind of got a booze problem, and it's like. This is weird. That's like, his shtick, it, though. I know, but what it's if he still were sober? just- sober? He wouldn't be able to function. It's still just weird, right? And part of it is, there's a point at which, at least in the first film, you go back and like, okay, I get what Jack Sparrow does. Like, yeah, he's a goof, but like at the end of the day, the guy's got, like he knows what he's doing and he's an effective pirate and he's, he's at least competent, if not one of the more, one of the better pirates in spite of his silliness. This one, I saw none of that. Like, I didn't really get a sense of any of what makes him this legendary pirate. But like, there's a flashback to his youth I when he looks like Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, Johnny Depp still. which I also also thought was a mistake. Like, I didn't think that was any good. And he's just like all he is in this is a clown. And that's I what just, he always is. But and but, now there's less of it. <laughs> yeah, I just I didn't like this movie. I I think it's kind of a way, you know this one's another one that's too long. It is. Um, look, like if you like these How characters, how long are we talking here? It's uh, like two hours and six minutes. Probably two, ten minutes of that are credits, right? Okay. It's it's so like straight up two, two hours. hours. Look, if but you're excited like to see this, fine. That's Boy. fine. I I wasn't excited. I found it tedious. I don't think it's any better than the last one. Uh, it moves I think better. Baywatch is more interesting, and at least. For the both that they're too long, I was more interested in what was happening in Baywatch than really? this. It was like, yeah, come on. So Matt thinks. I, I don't think that this has anywhere near the moments of competence that the other one does, that Baywatch does. So really, I, didn't, I really didn't like. Baywatch this. is like slapped together. So is this? No, no, no. So this, is this? this? No, this oh, moves pretty totally well. No, no, no. No, I think there's care taken in, in the details uh, and the big action uh, scenes. I disagree. No, Ghost Birds on the ghost ship. Some cool little no, details. I think it's a bunch of like, okay, what kind of cool stuff can we put in this movie? Yeah. And like, okay, now what kind of convoluted story are we going to need to put all this together? Okay, the script's ridiculous. Yeah, Although right. written by Jeff Nathanson. Mm, yeah, I don't. Mm, this movie stinks. <laughs> okay, so movie stinks. Um, if you're bringing children, I think it's okay. I brought Nick. Nick had not seen any of the previous four. Pirates and boy, movies. was he lost. No. <laughs> he actually <laughs> asked a lot of questions in the car on the way home. He wants to know who Jeffrey Rush is in relation to Johnny Depp. They are former enemies who are now forced to work together. Anyway. The are we past the point, though, where we can take Nick Lemire's <laughs> word <laughs> on whether or not a film is child appropriate? Because you have the most sophisticated. <laughs> Six or seven year old child, and I hope. Okay, you have the most sophisticated <laughs> seven year old child I've ever met. Thank you. Yeah. He's seen a lot of movies. 
I've he, scarred him. He's seen some things. No, but, when I was, but think about it, when we were kids, like I saw like The Shining when I was seven. And look how fucked up Right, I turned out fine. <laughs> we're not showing Nick The Shining. Anyway, so um, I think it's okay for kids. They're, if they're really, really little. I mean, if you're scary, mad at it, I'm sure. <laughs> here are some pirates. Um, if they are really small, the ghost pirates might freak them out, but whatever. Um, yes. Don't punish your kids with a bad movie like it that. It is, yeah. Don't well, do it. Johnny Depp needs to support his wine habit. <laughs> His, what was it, like his $30 million wine habit? What? Remember all the stories that came out about the ridiculous budget he has? Like the, the amount no. of money he has a ridiculous wine his budget. Anyway, um, <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm He's giving not on it. Shaws of Sunset, so. Correct. <laughs> if he were only on Shaws of Sunset, I would know everything about him. I'm giving it a 5.6. That's too high. <laughs> giving it, I'm, in fact, I'm gonna move my number down. Oh, don't make me do math again. What, what's your number gonna Two. be then? Okay, how about this? this? Okay, stinks. I'm gonna say five and Matt's gonna say two. So our number then becomes a 3.5. 3 right. 3.5. And it is at a 27% on the tomato meter. Which is up? No, which is down. Sure. It was in the 30s and now it's getting lower. Who cares? If you see one movie set in the ocean this weekend. Baywatch. <laughs> Just watch and The Shallows again. At, oh right? yeah, that was good. Yeah. Uh, I will say what I said about Baywatch. Not, see neither of these movies sober. Absolutely. Oh, not. there are sharks in this movie, though, too. If you take the oh my god, those stupid sharks! If you take the <laughs> kids to this movie, they should be drinking too. Bring juice boxes. Bye. With rum. <laughs>